Praise the Lord, everyone. I'm Bishop Eric Kincaid Clark, and today's Megabyte comes from the story of Moses. We're going to backtrack in the story just a little bit to highlight a very powerful truth out of Exodus chapter 14, and that is there was a, a pillar that followed or that actually led Israel through the wilderness as they left Egypt, headed towards the promised land, a pillar of cloud by day and um, fire by night. When you look up in the sky, there was literally a fire. Can you imagine a cloud that's on fire that would warm the people of God uh, at night and then a cloud that would shield the people from the very dangerous rays of the sun by day. The cloud represented the presence of the Lord. Today's megabyte is to have God's presence in our lives every single day. What a blessing it was. As I previously stated, in the daytime, in the desert, it would be so hot that you could die from the heat. So what the Lord did was provide a shield, an umbrella, uh, to protect them from the heat and the rays of the sun. And certainly at night in the desert, it could get so cold that the people could actually freeze to death. And God warmed the people at night. And you know what? That's what the presence of the Lord does. You know, when Moses asked the Lord, who shall I say is sending me? The Lord's response was, tell them I am. And that was it. It was as if the Lord was saying, tell them I will be to them whatever they need me to be. Yes, he was water when they were thirsty. He was food when they were hungry. He was also a shield from the dangerous rays of the sun and warmth and heat in the cool of the night. The Lord was there I am, and he will be that in your life. There was a statement given in the book of Exodus, and that was they were to follow the cloud. They were to move with the cloud. I want you to know that you should not simply ask God's presence to be in your life and to follow you, but you want God's presence in your life where you are going to follow him. You're going to follow his leading. You're going to follow his guidance and his direction. And so I say to you, as it was said in the Old Testament, move with the cloud. When God moves you away from something, then you get away from it. When God moves you towards something in a specific direction, certainly you ought to move with the cloud. It is a tremendous blessing to have the presence of the Lord in your life. He will be whatever you need him to be. There, are times, there will be times that you will need God to feed you, to clothe you, to provide for you, to protect you, to lead you, to guide you. And listen, whatever it is that you need, he will be just what you need. That's the presence of the Lord, the great I am. I'm Bishop Eric Kincaid Clark, and I want you to go to my website. You sow a seed and partner with us in addition to that. Get you some more spiritual, rich nourishment, amen, so you can maximize your potential in God. And don't forget to share the megabyte and all that is being a blessing to you through this ministry. I'm Bishop Eric Kincaid Clark, and this has been your Megabyte.